the Simonis Aramith Arena at the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel, Pat Fleming presents the 2022 International Open. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. The International is proudly sponsored by, uh, proudly brought to you by AccuStats, and it features the best players on the planet competing in one pocket, 10 ball and nine ball over a nine day period. We'd like to mention once again, our three signature sponsors who have supported this event and professional pool for so many years, Diamond Billiard Products, Simonis Cloth and Aramith. Thank you to those great companies. They are the best our industry has to offer. Thank you. Last but certainly not least, the best we have to offer is each and every one of you who have been with us for so many years, whether you're at home or you come here to watch every year, we really appreciate what you've done to help make this the best pool family in the business. Thank you all very, very much. We're our final eight players. It's all single elimination from here on in. Now my pleasure to introduce our two competitors for this quarterfinal match. From Canada, this gentleman is a two-time Derby City one-pocket champion. He's a two-time Derby City all-around champion among a very long list of accomplishments. In 2019, our sport bestowed its highest honor on his stellar career with his induction into the BCA Hall of Fame. Sponsored by Puyat Sports and Lomax Qs, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Hall of Famer, the Lion, Alex Padulayan. Not too far behind on his way to the Hall of Fame, and a very uh, uh, unique set of uh, commonalities here. Our next player from Russia is also the reigning and defending Derby City One Pocket champion. He's also the reigning and defending Derby City all-around champion. So a little bit of bragging rights here. He's sponsored by QTech, by Diamond, and by Tom. Please welcome Fedor Gorst. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Good luck to both of you. Your official timekeeper is John Baker. I'm going to send it upstairs to the comm box at this time to Double J and John Schmidt. Yeah, John Schmidt here with me. I'm Jeremy Jones. We're at the 2022 International, the one pocket division. A couple class lags here by a couple class players and two of the most well-liked players in the game, in my opinion. And I think there's a lot of reasons why, John. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, they're both great players, but that's only half of it. Um, I would be proud to call either one of them uh, a brother, yeah. you know, or a family member. I mean, they're just, they're good people. I've known Alex 25 years, and um, Fedor is just a sweetheart of a guy. Um, so um, I'm a fan of both of theirs, and I'm really not pulling for anybody here. Just want to see some good pool, and we will, I'm sure. Yeah, Federer won the lag, That's but big. narrowly. Um, two great lags. So to break the balls in game one, race to three, single elimination from here on out, the final eight. Yeah, huge match. I mean, there's no, you know, there's no one loss side. I mean, this is a race to three, and um, they're near the finish line, a lot of money on the line, so they will both be trying super hard. Yeah, and I think, you know, just the first shot here really shows you, you know, the difficulty of the game and where it's going just because you can take some of the guys with a little less experience, even though Feder has shown us it doesn't take a whole lot for him. Uh, but they always break the balls well, so the game starts out very difficult for the incoming player. And nothing he, new here. Yeah. And, and, you know, I think that's a perfect example of what we talked about yesterday. You take Fedor and all his talent, and one year of playing one pocket and maybe a year or two of listening to somebody like you on YouTube, and it's like 10 years on the road. Right. You know what I mean? Well, especially his training. Yes. Because he knows he's learning. So yes. it's a little different than, like I said the other day, watch out what's he doing here. Boy, so I'm very aggressive. Oh, boy. Not the start Alex is looking for. No, he didn't hold the ball in the 15 like no. he wanted, so he cut the, cube, the ball a little more. That's why the eight didn't travel, but... 
you know, when we were playing one pocket, we were competing even though, so we didn't recognize we were learning. Right. So when you know you're learning, it's kind of like you look at it differently. That's right. Yeah, and you, it's a little more excelled, I think. Mm-hmm. Now, do you like, do you like trying to clip off the right side of the 14 to uh-huh. get on the six or hit the 14 on the left and play shape for the seven five? Like, uh, that's kind of what I like there, but it, it's easy for me to say that now that it worked. Well, you know, he kind of felt like, it was definite. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like him going right. into there because he's yes. so close to it. So, you yes. know, when you're a little more definite on something, it can look a little dangerous when it really wasn't. And they're both incredible straight pull players. So, I mean, when it comes to, like, clipping into three or four balls and getting that kind of feel of where they're going to end up, I mean, this is two of the best right here. And you talk about fan bases. I was thinking about it with Kenny's opening. It really made me think a little bit that, all right, taking on the combo because that leads towards a lot of balls. That's right. A little tougher to make, but if you make it, oh, boy, he just shook it in there. Good shot. Man, I don't know if this got covered up again or not. Hmm. Um, but what I was going to get at is, you know, if you think about it and you're like Alex or you're like what we think Fetter's going to be and he wants to be is an all-around player. Right. You know, play a lot of different disciplines. Right. He not only won the one pocket this last year, he won the banks. Mm-hmm. Made a deep run the nine ball somewhat. Oh, yeah. and, uh, he's, and he's a great straight pull player already. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I think I mean, you that's... build a bigger fan base when you play yeah. all games, yeah. you know, because the guys appreciate it more, the fans appreciate I... it more, and you find different fans that like different games better right. than, than others in our sport. So. That's right. And as a player, I mean, I have, you know, a little bit more respect, frankly, for a player that plays all the games well. Yeah. I, the one trick ponies is like, okay, that works, but. Man, you take an Allen Hopkins or a Nick Varner or anybody that can play all the games, boy, I'll tell you what, what a swing and momentum. I mean, Alex looks to for sure lose that first game, and now he might steal it. And uh, uh, he's gonna, man. He's going to probably do more than steal it. Yes. Man, the three ball's setting up really nice. I'd like to pick a couple off before I got to the three. Mm-hmm. I'd like to pick the 15 and off first just because I feel like when I open the balls up, the 15 and 10 can cause me some right. problems. But Right. Well, now see. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, well, tough table, you know, small pockets. You're spinning your ball. I don't recall them playing on this table, either one of them. You know, I could be wrong there. So a um, little different squirt maybe with yeah. the lights. Yeah. Adding that inside English. But That's all right. You know, the one trick pony thing to me is kind of like, I don't look at it too, too much because I I could see a guy that, you know, like a FSR or filler right. that don't want to mess with anything yeah, else. Yeah, they just want to you know, win. Yeah, that's they, fine. Yeah, yeah they, they want to – they realize what it takes just to win playing that one game. That's but right. the other games do help you. Well, uh, I, I, I think they build you into a better player. For me, I mean, I see how hard it is to win money playing pool. And so when I see a player just say, well, I don't play one pocket, I'm like, well, this guy over here wants to play for 20000 What do you mean you don't yeah, play? Well, yeah. you have to. Like, you, you're, not, you're not in a position to just turn it down. And Jack Cooney told me 20 years ago, if you want to have any money in your pocket, you have to figure this one pocket. And he was right. I mean, it'll supplement your career. The game's changing a little yeah, bit, Yeah, a little though. bit. Yeah. But also the good thing is look how many – real profitable one pocket tournaments there are these days that's compared right. to years ago that's right you know? so not only on the action side of things the tournaments yeah the tournaments have a lot of value this is uh, a great tournament right here it's just like yeah. ten thousand for first you know is there any scratch with a draw ball here? um you know oh like, yeah you could you could clip the side, off the three and go straight up in the corner i mean all kind of weird stuff but he's happen. not drawing that much okay oh nice shot he iced it oh it worked out perfect yeah Boy, Alex is going to be so disgusted getting that opportunity and letting it get away. Mm, going to yeah. have to shake that off. Yeah, and his first two shots were miss hits. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, off the mark of hair. Right, yeah. I thought the first shot was a little dangerous, the oh, shot heck, after the break. Uh, yeah. I, I saw the value in it, what he was doing. Um, I may have looked around a little more. Yeah, to me, I always just look at that as – you know you're playing a great player with, with Feder, so so you have to do something special. You can't just dink and bun. And Alex said, "Well, I this is a necessary evil here to remove these two balls, but you can blow the game doing it too." Yeah, and I I bring it up a lot, not to beat a dead horse. What I usually see with those is the let up in the stroke. Okay, if you look at it, you know I feel like he kind of let up and let the ball twirl on him mm-hmm. a little bit. Uh, 
maybe trying to keep control. Well, you know, <laughs> this is something I brought up before, and it sounds stupid, but you know how hard it is to elevate and shoot pull shots. We all do. Well, you're like six foot two, and Alex is five foot five. I think when he has to elevate, it's harder than when a tall player has oh, to absolutely. elevate, right? Yeah. yeah. And I also think to to be fair, just because I've, I've messed with so much in the teaching side of mm -hmm. things, learning a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, Alex is a little past parallel with the backhand or perpendicular with the backhand. Okay. He's not at 90 degrees. Right. Um, and I kind of feel like when you're beyond it, you know, when you're in front of it, not so much. But okay. when you're beyond it, elevation becomes a little harder to me. It feels like your arm's just kind of out in space somewhere, uh, okay. you know, when you're back. You know, you're not yeah. sitting at 90 degrees. It yeah. feels like you can even get away with a hair more forward. That's something to think about, you know? yeah. That's it's not something you no. see very often either, no. but... If you watch Alex just address a shot out in the middle of the table or a regular shot, if you look at his backhand, he's about an inch past that's perpendicular. That's right. That's a very observant of you and something um, that's interesting and, and worth thinking about. Oh, okay. Nice break. Got to win this game. It's your break. Um, you know, I don't know about you, and I don't know the stats. I'm sure Bill and Cardona can know the stats off the top of his head, but it's a race to three. You've lost the first break. You've lost the first game. I mean, I have to make Alex a gigantic underdog from here. Well, it never seems to work out that way. But the pressure's on him. Yeah. I mean, hard to say gigantic. I mean, yeah. maybe a little more since he had chances in the yeah, first right. game. He's got to get out of his own head a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, well, don't you just say to yourself, even if I win all the games on my break, I'm going to lose Hill Hill with him breaking. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, that's. I mean, kinda, that's the on paper kind of right, thing. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You try not to think yeah. like that. Yeah, that's not how sports really no. is, though. You know that. Yeah. We've seen it too many times. Yeah, like, exactly. Just like a decision. I mean, yeah. you know, Vandeveld man, pulling the pulling the driver out. Oh, I know. I remember that in 99 when he did that. I couldn't believe it. He hit, hit a six iron down there somewhere. Two five irons over the, over, the, Get, over the over the burn and yeah. then uh, and then a little wedge oh, on and three man. putt for a victory. So. You're right. He tripled it, lost in a playoff. I was sick for him. Yeah, a little funny here, crossing the seven. Right. The cue ball's going to have speed. Yeah, I'm kind of. That and you I only get one, but you could give up a million if you I mess up. I might take a flyer at the thirteen and draw him below the okay. seven. I might look That's, at that. Just I like that I better. Like his accuracy, you know. I like that better, Jeremy, than banking the seven here. Um, unless he can, you know, kill the cue ball and snuggle it up by the one. Well, this is the thing. This is kind of like he's just like, man, I, should I bet the game? But you're not uh, betting the game because no. you can't get out. You no, can get right. on the eleven, but you can't get out though. Well, I do like. Oh, wow, what a nice shot. shot. I mean, nice shot. turned it two rails into the four. That was gutsy. Well, the key to that was you couldn't do that baby in it. No. You just had to go ahead and shoot it and know the path of your cue ball was nice. But yeah, that was that was pretty courageous. I'll tell right you there. something funny, and we'll get back to the pool, but I was in England, actually, Wales, uh, to be uh, more correct, uh, during that Vandeveld. Mm. And me and Coltrane, you remember Coltrane? Mm, sure, Michael. So we were talking to... Johnny Archer and Kim Davenport on the phone line, on the hotel line, and we're getting ready to go to dinner. And we're like, yeah, this is over. Well, let's just see him tee off on 18. You know, we're on the phone line. Yeah. Yeah. We'll meet you downstairs after it's we see up. him hit this fairway right here, and right. we'll go to dinner. And well, he blew it about halfway to yeah. Yeah. Scotland or wherever yeah. he hit it yeah. to. Yeah. And I remember that. Like to the right, and uh, we're like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll watch the end of this. And then it was another hour and a half well, after the playoff. Well, you know, a lot of if you're not a golf fan, I mean – that was like a 10-year exemption, too, to the majors. To win that was, like, life-changing, you know. Well, Nobody so remembers second, you know. The, the only uh, the only guy ever to win a major from France. Yeah, I mean, he would have been set, that guy. Oh. He, he was pretty set afterwards just because oh, yeah. it was an incredible story. He Almost did, he people did feel pretty, sorry for him. <laughs> he did pretty well, I think, yeah. you know, financially because of it. Uh, but what, what would he have done if he had won? Now chip out this five to your side. Yeah, go ahead and be, yeah. be aggressive. Come yeah. around towards the. Oh, nice. See, now he looked at the stack, so maybe there's nothing wrong. But if you're worried about a kick, go ahead and be aggressive mm -hmm. coming around more towards the bottom of the 13 with the cue ball, not to leave the kick. Now, would you say the balls favor Alex here like a lot? Uh, to me, it looks like it's a lot. You know, you've got all the rails covered, and yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it is pretty it, good, right? Yeah, but until something gets threatening, you mm -hmm. know, that's when you really okay. Now, he could kick soft at the five, taking a foul, just trying to rub the five away and coast oh, up on the stack. Okay, it's not a terrible shot, believe it or not. Yeah, 
you defend the 13, and it's worth a foul. He's going to protect it anyways, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't want to let Alex knock that 13 away. Yeah, what does Alex do here? He's going to look at the back of the stack. Right, maybe try to nick off the 6. Oh, if he can hit the 13, he'll go to the stack. Yeah. But I don't, I can't quite tell. I it looks like he can hit it, I Jeremy. I think he can get to a piece. Yeah, of yeah, you want to just bump this up and uh, put it by the 4 and get back into the pile, you think? Uh, well, you yeah. don't want to let the cue ball get away, so that's no, the, the most pile's important. easy. Yeah, yeah, he's just coasting to the pile. Oh, he. Well, look at this shot. How about this one? Let's yeah. go with that instead. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Let's go with the Cho hand special. Oh, wow, and nice a lot of shot. control. Nice shot. Yeah. Now, an inexperienced player would think, well, he'll just bank this thirteen in, but your cue ball is going to climb out for the four eleven. Um. I kind of see him coming off the right side of this ball into the end rail. I mean, the bank is for sure not free. Yeah, he can't get at the edge you know, of the being six. Trapped up, yeah, being, being, yeah, he'd love to cut the six. He's looking at it. Cut the six and try to run into the 13, I suppose. Yeah, and the thing, the thing he's thinking, I think, um, is he can't go at the bank on the 13. It's just too much. Mm -hmm. If he comes off the 13, he's giving up his position. Um, now, yeah. the thing is, is he going to play real shape with this it, shot, or is he going to go up to the top corner? Oh, oh my shape? gosh, what a shot with the bridge. Man, what a great shot. That's so missable. I mean, just leaning out eight feet, nicking it like that. No, oh, well. And he's great with the bridge from playing snooker, but still, that was difficult oh, yeah. for anybody there. Absolutely. I'm pitiful with the bridge or the rest. I mean, I don't even know what it's called. That's how. <laughs> Crutch. I just know what bank and snooker is called a double. Yeah. A double to the middle with deep screw. <laughs> yeah. Master class. That's a hybrid. That's stuck in my head. Okay. He could get a cut on the two here or get yeah. out for the full hit on the five. He doesn't want a bunch of angle on the five. Okay. Nice stroke. Nice there. shot there. Got to consider the two from here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to consider it, I think. Yeah, it would fix a lot of problems if you cut this in. You're right. I don't know if he's even looking at it. I mean, you can pinch over there. Don't get me I, wrong. but I actually think he's supposed to shoot the two here. I do, too. Um, because I don't I don't see what this is going to lead to. Well, he's going to go into the 10 and be and, close, but he's got to hit it well. Yeah, he sure does. This could work, though, if he can just catch the 10 like that. Nice shot. Still a little awkward, though, I mm -hmm. think. When you're close to it, it doesn't take much to create an angle, right, to right. move the ball, so that's good for him. Yeah, that was a really good little shot. He played it perfect. Try to get up above the 11 here. Oh, don't. Okay, don't scratch on the side. Nice shot. Oh, we might have a 1-1 ball game. He's still got a lot of work to do. This shot right here is quite missable. Uh, it always cracks me up when somebody goes, oh, he missed an easy shot, and then I see the shot on video, and I go, man, that was missable. But the story is always like it was a foot away straight in. Well, anytime you yeah. near the rail with yeah. the ball, that's why you see so many great players shooting yeah. the nine. They stay above it. That's oh, right. They don't want to be on that rail. That's right. And, uh, now I think he needs one more after the nine. So it'd probably come up for the eleven. A little high check. Oh wow. Alex. What was he getting on? Well, the eight didn't go. Uh I'll tell you what. I he think might. he needs needed two. Yeah. Well, he's got some options here. Just I've seen you <laughs> I've seen you double That's what the 13. I've seen you double the thirteen and the cue ball kinda ends up back behind the four. And uh, steal the game from outer space. You got to kind of hit down on it because you're mm -hmm. jacked up. Mm -hmm. You know, you, if you hit, you know, straight high ball. That's right. I don't. I don't That's think right. you get behind. That's the right. Four the key ball so will kind of arc. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I've seen you double this in and run out, and then your opponent wants to step into traffic. It's. Uh, well, the 11's a hard one to not shoot if he can twist this one because it does have a pocket twisting it. And I think he has to twist it yes. and draw it over for shape and safe and, you know, all that. I wouldn't go upward here. I'd take a real chance at making this one myself. Oh, oh 
thought he hit it. Oh, my God. Well, oh, I thought he rock. made it right past that little 13, yeah. Pretty good to play Great the rock shot. there. Yes. Six, six to two ball count in favor of Alex. But Alex is in big trouble here, and the balls are still in play. Watch out for deadening up to nine. Yeah, right. Good shot. Okay, got it passed. Nice little shot there. How do you feel about the maybe the three railer on the 11 with a high left cue ball? And try to get to the middle of the in rail and get the 11 back in play? Or do you maybe nick off the 10 and go upstream? He doesn't have much, does he? No, I kind of like where the 11's at. Just leave it? Yeah, okay. Just, I mean, if the three railer sat a little better. Right, it's not. But yeah. you really got to get into this to right. get the cue ball safe. Right. You keep, yeah, you could leave him straight on the four. Yeah, or even a little angle where he's not but too does, worried. But does the ball count kind of influence you there? Like yeah, you say, well, Nick I'm down. Yeah, like you said. Okay, Nick so Nick the, the 10. 10 yeah. yeah, the four's a huge ball it for is. you. Uh, yeah. That ball in the center of the table, we talk about it in other games. Uh, you know, if you ever played golf mm -hmm. with that ball in the center mm -hmm. of the table, it becomes a headache. Now, he's shooting my, my crackhead shot. Well, no, we'll this is the value because it goes, work, but, though. But it goes. That's right. That's the value in this shot. Oh, don't scratch. Oh, he hit it pretty good. This could work. This yeah. is just what he's looking for. The ball, it's not as bad as you think, Fedder. This is, um, no. they're in play still. No, a cue ball froze on the rail would have been a little nicer. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, that way, if he wants to move the... What is it, the 13? It becomes a little more difficult, but not, not a whole lot. I you guess. drive that 13 out two rails and follow forward. Yeah. He may get challenged here in a moment. We'll see. But oh, that's oh, no good. Oh, you don't want to hit that 11. Oh, that 11 almost snuck out for. Um, hmm. Hmm. I kind of think with the ball count, I'm, I'm banking the four and going up table. Uh, playing the cue ball, yeah, maybe even overcutting the four a little bit and getting the cue ball way upstream. Yeah, I'm trying to just survey a little bit. It would be nice if he could high inside the 11, but he can't. Uh-huh, right. Because the 15-10 really not shootable from up the table. Even if he could just get it coming two rails somewhere in his direction and send the cue ball oh, up the yeah. table. Oh, yeah, just get up above the side, zigzag it upstream. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, let's see. I like your shot on the four. I mean. The only I'd, thing about that is you got to be very careful to cross corner. But Yes. Yeah, you need to hit the four the right speed, and the cue ball's got to get up there. I think I, the ball count would maybe – Lean me in that direction, no, shoot. Well, that? not only that, I think the middle of the in rail on the four okay. is better. That way, you don't leave an easier cross. That's corner. right. So, That's exactly right. And I'm not still not worried about him shooting the eleven. Mm. What, yeah, the if they the shoot that, is. just say good shot. You're yeah, the exactly, best. Yeah. Now, I wonder what he's really wow. thinking. Is about. he gonna two rail the eleven and go three rails with the cue ball back upstream and try That's, to beat the kid? I mean, that's froggy, but it can work. Well, it looks like. It. The thing about Feder, it's hard to tell. He'll uh -huh. he'll cue somewhat the center and then right. drop the tip at uh, the end. Interesting. If he's drawing. Oh, he played it. Look at this shot. Tell you what. Well, this is going to get awkward. The eleven's going to get right. a little awkward. Whew, Alex is glad that didn't go. I think he's got to play the same shot, right, Jeremy? Just get this eleven two rails up over to his side. Yeah, but the problem is. The way the pace is to get the cue ball mm -hmm. down, the 11's going to exit it, somewhat. Yeah, it's going to almost come out for a long rail bank or, or give up yeah. some free on the 10, maybe. Right. Uh, like two railer on the 10, a one railer uh -huh. on the 10, something like that. So this has gotten a little funny. This is You may roll through on the 10 here. Now, I was going to say that would remove the 10, so the 15 8 maybe go. Well, um, not only that, it doesn't give up that bank. Right. You know, that bank is that's see him point at the your 10 mind. He read your mind. Yeah, the ten's the problem here. So a lot of times when that's the problem, sometimes that's the ball you can that's shoot right. off of. That's right. That's right. That was pretty crafty to see that because most people would go right to the eleven, but the ten is gonna solve some problems. Maybe tie up those balls. Yeah. Now he's saying go ahead and run these fetter. Yeah, he just didn't want to sell out a shot to Federer. Mm -hmm. He's a dangerous mm -hmm. hombre, right? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, just tickle. The 11's in a good spot. Just tickle the 13 a little go bit. Go right back up there. Just kind of open the 13 nine just a hair and go up to that upper left corner. Yeah, I like it. I like it better than the 15 Absolutely. Myself. Now, he's doing the 15 because okay. it, it plays into Alex's pocket. Oh, yeah. But That's he's kind of moving it out of position a little more. Uh -huh. and But he's left them tough. Yeah, man. no, there's. I don't see much wrong with this. He's left them tough. I mean, this looks real tough to me. For If Alex can't hit this 11, I mean, he's in a terrible spot. I think he can get at some of the 11. What do you, he if he can't hit the 11, Jeremy, what would you do here Ooh. besides pray? Um, I mean, can, can you bank the 10 between to the rail between the 4 and 11, then let it just bank around those three balls while stunning oh down? Oh, God, man. That'd take a, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of execution to just play a safety. It's but pretty it's natural, doable. It's though. pretty natural. Okay. Yeah. If he was on the rail now, he's in yeah. real trouble. I'll tell you. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, this looks like death to me. This is terrible. He's in a horrific spot. Fader, Fetter made a nice shot there. Okay. Oh, maybe he can hit the 11. Well, yeah, that's, that's a game changer. That's what I was thinking to okay. begin with. It's in a little better position, but it still might tickle the 13 depending on how he hits it. Oh, oh, oh! I'll tell you what. He no, that did was okay. the right shot. Yeah, he did okay. He's going to hate the outcome, but I, I don't mind the shot at all. No, if they make this 10 ball, you just can't do nothing. Kiss shot on the nine looks pretty dead as well, mm -hmm. but doesn't. I mean, you could actually play it free the way it sits and put the 13 for a bank. Wow. You're not normally going to shoot that. I hate to shoot that, thir that 10, but I, th I mean, sometimes you have to, especially with the count like it is. You're down six to two. You might have to shoot the 10. Yeah, he's going to play it, it looks like. Well, I think he's going to roll Man. it ish. Yeah. And come off the edge of the eight. Yeah. Yeah, and the cue ball can carry into the 13 and push it down for a shot. I think he gets to the outside of the eight, John, if he oh, hits it okay, well. Oh, okay, okay. And kind of opens the eight as a I shot. See. A little bit of a backdoor safety, Man. just maybe if he hangs it or misses the ball. This is a huge shot for Alex right here. He, Alex really needs him to miss this, or he is mathematically in a terrible spot. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, he opened the eight thin, but he did open it. He's not going to back off of that. Well, if the 13 doesn't pass the nine, that's uh, that's going to help Alex, of course. Yeah, but he can get on the nine, uh -huh. I think, that's uh, right. to develop a bank. Yeah, on and the then 13. the 13 banks it right, yeah. exactly. So it's all about this eight, really. This eight gets down. I think Alex will probably get back to the table, mm -hmm. probably, but maybe at a, you know, where Fetter needs one. Maybe. Right. No, Fetter's got a lot of work to do here, but if anybody can pull it off, it's this uh, this guy. He is an incredible player. Well, some may work the same, but nobody works harder at no, the game, that's for sure. No, he's, he's doing everything right. Man, it's just awesome to look around the room and just champion after champion. Oh, yeah, everywhere. killers. Killers are Torsten and Alex Kazakas, Donnie Mills, um, Omar Al Shaheen, Sky Woodward, Tony Joyner. They, they don't call this the Pro Tour for nothing. Yeah. This is a, a murderer's row up in here. <clears throat> yeah, so he's going to, um, you'd like him to play the 11 and then get back out to the middle. Try to cut the nine. He and, might come across oh, trying to edge wow. the 13. He's just so accurate, yeah. and it sits nice to do so. No, he's going to. I come. like your shot. I, oh, this. I think he got oh, there. Oh, he got a little funny, didn't he? I think he got there just barely. Uh, okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I liked your suggestion of play for the cut on the nine and, and billiard the 13 over. Well, maybe you can play it with a little bit of slow inside English. And then just have yeah. the 13 lane. Oh, look there. at here. He's going to roll the 13 near his hole and hook him on the nine, I think. Oh, I think he's making the nine. Oh, no, you're right. Oh, what a crafty little shot. And he got it up a little, which is yes. touchy. Which is, you know, better, yeah. better for Alex that he didn't hang it. Uh -huh. He doesn't want to concede it, but it is touchy. Okay, so we got a 6 5 ball game in favor of Alex. And Alex. Is that ball uh, froze? I don't think so. Okay. Alex has to kick two rails and just touch this. But the ball's favorite, 
fed her so much here. This will be a miracle for Alex to win this game. Nice touch. Look at here. Just perfect. I think he's the best ever. Oh, yeah. He's, he's evil. Shot. He's yeah. evil at that kind of stuff. All right. Just come across this thick and roam the nine back right. across. Right. And kind of make it block you put, that you, ball. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just hit it thick. Don't try yep. to draw it and get better behind the 15-4. Right. None of that. Just nope. just come across it, like I said, thick with a little right English, trying yep. to throw the nine back a little uh -huh. bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. If, if Fetter hits this right, it's it's almost um, going to be impossible for Alex to do much if he blocks him with this nine. Well, the 13 is really ugly to kick out, you know. So you want to – Get him froze. Uh, he's definitely Man, he doing something like different now. He looks like he's banking at this, Jeremy, because he's got the big pocket. I think he's banking at this ball. I think he was at first. I don't think he is now. Okay. Not with a level cue. Okay. Yeah. This is great here. Yeah, what's Perfect. wrong with this? Nothing. Man. Nothing at what all. What in the world? Man, the people at home are thinking, well, Jeremy, <laughs> what do you do here? Well, he was wanting a ball to, to kind of scramble onto uh -huh. that 12. That's what he was hoping developed right there with that ball coming across. Uh huh. Now he's just oh. got to kind of hit and hope. Oh, he I can think. dig it. He can yeah, dig it out, but the, no, the, no, and the four nine's dead. The Double 15, kissing. Yes. The, well, yeah, I this mean, was, it yeah. just ain't the. It just the ball was in the worst spot possible. Yep. I probably wouldn't have done that myself. I would have probably fired the four nine at it. Oh wow! Trying to kick the 15 uh -huh. away. And try to hit the four nine off a little bit uh -huh. where it comes across that ball, right. you know, like and they all just shatter out exactly. of there because they just all leave. Every one of them. Yeah. Cut the four a little more on the nine, kick the fifteen away with the cue ball off the four. So I mean that was a bad situation and I didn't like the kick and not and that wasn't anything to do with hindsight. Yeah. It was wow. just in a bad spot. Feeder got a chance to go up two nothing. If anybody can claw back from 2-0 down, it's Alex. Yeah. But not the start he was looking for, Let's obviously. get a look at that scrimmage yeah. right quick. Yeah, we got a chance to get a replay of that. Here it is, and, and nothing was working for Alex. I think he hit it almost Man, as well as he could. he almost really. hit it perfect, yep. And it's amazing how the player knows. If you watch mm -hmm. Alex's body language as soon when as he it, released it, yes. he was worried. Yep. I might have to go a hair. He needs one. Fedor needs one. Yeah, and this is off Alex's break as well. So not only has to hold his own break, but somehow after this 15's down, mm -hmm. win two breaks on Fedor's. End of things. I've seen a, a million matches where people are down 2 nothing, come back and at least make a deal hill or win even. But, Ooh. Um, Ooh. well. A little chink in the armor. Yeah. Yeah, Alex has got one more chance to, to do things and lengthen out the game. And But, man, the way these balls lay, it is going to be tough. And Josh Roberts up 2-0. On Darren Appleton. Mm -hmm. Big match there. Yeah, that's, all these are to get, yeah. to get to the semis. Yeah, these are huge matches. This is where it really comes down to, like, between your ears and being able to play calm and composed and relaxed and, and play the way you practice, you know, and all, all those sayings, you know. Um, I might go for this tough. two reeler. This yeah, sounds crazy it, with high right. You can hit right before the side, there's no kiss. And Alex is wanting the opportunity to move the 4-9. Uh -huh. You know, he's wanting to yes. be able to get this away, one of these balls, because that's a problem oh, for him. Oh, totally. It covers that whole side of the board. Yeah. Like so I might have played a little one-ball, one pocket if I was yeah. better there and just send that two rails to, towards okay. my pocket and gone up. Okay. I think I would have. I now, really do. Now, do you like just banking the nine over to the – Yeah, you got to come down and really get them funny near your pocket with the cue ball. Uh -huh. uh, that way the 15 is not really playable. A but, freebie. Uh -huh. uh, and okay. also you're worried about the nine when you do that, the ball you're playing off of. Now, because of the count, would you even consider banking the nine at your I order? absolutely would consider oh, it. Okay, at least – Absolutely. I mean, because you're, you know, mathematically well, you're so far – Well, you know, down. the problem is you're going to get a thick hit on the four. And you're going to so. leave him a big old fat bank on that 15. Well, yeah, or the nine in return. Oh, so. look at this. 
Okay. Well, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, just, that was pretty crafty. Yeah, if you're if you're Federer, I just push this past the not the four and come right. up on the four. That's ball. what I like. He's gonna try and make him separate a little bit. Nothing wrong with that, because when yeah. you're close to it, your controls can be so good. And, yeah. And that was the better shot, especially Man. the way they ended up. Yeah. Alex knows he could give up something here. Yeah. You know? I mean, what do you do here? You almost might have to do something with the 15. Yeah, but that's funny too. Oh, I mean, totally. You got to cross it with inside. It's a kiss uh, with outside or straight. You can't, you're going right at the nine four. So I mm. think he's in trouble. Yeah, right? he's in big trouble. I think he's got to chop the nine and go two rails back to like centerish of the right. Inner well, you know, would be a really nice shot is if you could play the nine off the four, and make the four on the side, nine down in the corner, and the cue ball zigs down. You know, yeah, down. I to mean, the that's bottom. that's doing a lot, but you have to do a lot to be. It's beat. there. Kind it's of. kind of there, isn't it? He played it. See. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, he, the, the spot ball was covering up the yeah. fifteen and the nine. Yeah, Alex is he's pretty <laughs> sharp dude. Yeah, I mean, it's easy for me to see that. I'm sitting way up here above the table. But, yeah, he doesn't miss much. Okay, a little touchy. This is something you may not play very often. You know, a different type of safety of yeah. some sort. Because if he just pushes the four and goes forward, he can give up a two-railer on the nine uh -huh. if the four gets out, you know, the wrong way. But I, I do, I do when I need one and they need three, I do like pushing them upstream. Absolutely. And if they make a two-railer, just... Sign my pool case. I mean, yeah, you're but you don't have want the two railer with shape, not, though. Yeah, with shape. That's <laughs> the one right. thing getting a one single that's two railer, but not the one with shape. That's exactly right. That's a good point. So he's going to soft draw over, trying to overcut this four oh, like that. So I that's like correct. That. Yeah, I like that. Very accurate striker mm -hmm. of the cue ball. Boy, what on earth do you do here? Um, I like distance chopping here. Chopping the fifteen, he, coming across. 15 onto the nine. You oh, could wow. you could give up a long railer here. Oh, that's got to go. Oh, that's got to go. Oh, that's not too bad, right? Well, the nine goes straight in. Gosh. Yeah, he was way. He was. Yeah, he did. You can it. get overly worried about like pocketing uh -huh. the ball, you know. And, and then it get, screws up your strike. And exactly. You don't right. Exactly. You don't become clear cut. Right. And he's definitely giving up one that. That Fetter, I wouldn't say, is a dead favorite no, to make, but, but he's a favorite to hang it at yeah, least. Yeah, I mean, it's going to threaten the hole for sure. I think you can just hit this with a, a high ball and come right between the 15 forward, not scrum, maybe even a high left ball and go, is he? He can do high left that, or right. That way I kind of like right myself. Oh, okay. Just slow the cue ball down. That's right. Hit it thicker. Uh huh. You may give up a cross corner, but your speed should be better with the little right than left. Okay. On the object ball, I mean. So we'll see if he goes underneath the 15, yeah, into, like the 15 it, yeah. into the 15. Oh, no. Oh, he's oh my God. Fatter, what are you doing, pal? Wow. No, he's shocked there. The only thing I can imagine is did he think he was going to get into the 15? Yeah, I think so. And I. I this is a real chance for Alex. Now, Alex has to really execute. Um, he has to make a, a great spot shot and tear the nine out. I mean, uh, a lot going on right here. Back against the wall. Let's we'll see how he does. Well, he wasn't a stroke. He, he wasn't in love with that one. The super tough, what he was trying to do, yeah. but his stroke kind of got a little twitchy there, which we've all done, I'm sure. Well, talked about it earlier. When, when you have a quicker, shorter fundamental technique uh -huh. and nerves are a little high uh -huh. or you're a little uncomfortable because all of us get a little quicker. Right. Meaning, like, if you're a smoother stroker player, you're going to get quicker, you too. You have some room, though, to get quicker. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. have a hair more room that's for right. air, you know. That's right. At Although, least that's my opinion. Well, and, and, and so. in fairness to Alex, though, I mean, that guy could miss 40 spot shots in a row, and he's still, like, the greatest Hall of Famer. No, no, so yeah, I get, yeah, I get yeah, what you're yeah, saying, yeah, though. Yeah, if, yeah. If, if anything, when you have that shorter swing, you're already right on the edge of too short and quick. And exactly. then when you throw in the nerves that he's got to exactly. be feeling, it's easy for him to physically break down. Is, just is, a, yeah. is smaller. Is right. It? Yeah. But there's a you know some advantages the, people think there's pros and cons. There's right? less moving parts. He yeah. takes the tip back very short, so he can't you know. Yeah. There's, there's good and but, bad. But I think that's opinion based. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I actually think your tempo keeps you in line more than 
Short and straight. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Short hey, and straight. I, I, that's, get, that's it's worth, even shorter to me a lot that's of times. That's worth looking at, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a, that's, that's opinion based on what, mm-hmm. you know. Like when you accelerate the cue, yeah. you know, nothing stays straighter than something accelerating, right? Yeah. So you don't have to worry about short yeah. and accurate and, and controlled and all mm-hmm. that if you understand, you know, what a proper swing is. Yeah. But, but it, all a little different in the game. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, and he, and he does so much right, and he plays so amazing that I, you know, gosh, it, I mean, I sure wouldn't change anything because he missed one ball. You no, know? no, but, but no, I it's, it's agree not with change, you compl- it's just yeah. like get it informed. Yes. You know, like you got to make sure it's informed, yeah. that's all. Yeah, yeah, do what you've always done, and I don't think he actually stroked it like he, you know, it was always done. He, he I, could tell mid-stroke that he was heavy well, or something and tried to i watched almost not long ago just because i was watching matches of course it's that time of year where i go on youtube and i watch a lot of matches mm-hmm. for one reason or another mm-hmm. not hard to explain with the Moscone and yeah. stuff but um i actually watched it came up his uh his world championship win right there in taiwan oh okay and uh, one thing i would love to tell him is hey go watch yourself back then and just see the little differences oh, because what what Alex used to have is he wasn't always short with all the shots. Some of the shots he'd pull the cue back much longer oh. and smoother. And you could certainly see it in that match uh, when he won the world title. Yeah, I, I get this feeling of like when I'm hitting, doing that, like the completing the backswing, and man, the long shots seem to whip in like crazy. Yeah, oh, well, you don't question this yourself. This looks oh, in. Oh, my God. This is like going right at it. Drano. No. Oh. Boy, nice shot. Perfect speed. Mm hmm. That are using the town chalk that I like. Ooh, I'm surprised he's kicking side real right. hard to control the speed on the object ball. You must not be oh, worried about the 15. So good. Yeah, that yeah, was a really nice. Shot. Now the 15 bank is I don't want to call it free, but it's doable. But you know when you need one, I just I'm not, not a like fan it. of shooting these. I, I just want to bump the four around and play tight. Yeah. Make them make a bunch of banks, you know. No, you can't you shoot. Were, you can't shoot at the fifteen. Yeah, don't shoot the fifteen. No, I'm just. Uh, he's got to be a little careful not to give up some return here. Yeah. Uh, this four ball got funny. Yeah. I mean, you could kick behind it. I kind of like that, Jeremy. Just mm-hmm. kicking it over to your side. Yeah. But he looks like he's brushing it over to his side and going side rail end rail. No, he did exact. That's it. I well, like that. He overhit it a little. May give up a two reeler. Maybe oh, not yeah, though. You're right though. He almost did. But I mean, that's mm. percentages. And not only that, the guy, like you said, the guy's got to make a two reeler. Right. On like you. It, you just, know, just not, keep making two railers to win the game. You yeah. know. With only needing one. Yeah. Alex yeah. needing three. Yeah, that's right. This is like playing a game against you. I need three. You need one. They're all upstream. <laughs> You're calmly smoking a cigarette, and I'm fretting and looking for a new backer. Yeah, it's pretty effective from the <laughs> six in right there. Yeah, that don't hurt you. I'm like just getting this ball back out of play. Now, this is where crossing it towards your side, if you can do it with a lot of control, mm-hmm. is one of your safer shots, actually. You kind of running like, the cue ball. Oh, Hitting so hitting straight at it and banking the six up by like where the cue ball is. No, at. towards your pocket. Oh, oh, oh you know, okay. Just cross it over okay. towards your pocket, kind of just come up the table. You pick yeah. out a safe yeah. place you're not going to scratch, but it'll make Alex have to address that six That's ball right. a little bit, you know. Yeah. So, because if you cross this over, it's not the easiest to keep him off of some type of shot. That's right. Okay. You know, a two railer may come up, mm-hmm. uh, a four railer, a, a four ball, one rail where he can run the cue ball. The 15 is not much of an option, obviously. Yeah, but that makes sense. Just saying a mild yeah. crossover. Yeah. You know, if you don't do it, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Center of the end rail with the cue ball here. Yeah, bank this. Oh. Center of the end oh, rail. Okay, yeah. nice shot. But see the I two railer that might come up. Right? Yeah, and I've, oh, I've sold out a two railer there so many times. And then if Alex gets the cue ball over to the left, let's say he makes this, two he could be 15. laying perfect on the 15 to two rail and stop his rock. Exactly. And, and then you sit there and go, how in the world did I just lose this game? Yeah, and he's got to hit it with a straight high ball just barely past the side right. to have any chance to make it. That's right. The table's been playing pretty short off of mm-hmm. these two rails from this angle. 
Yeah, you can't send this down deep into the pocket. No. It won't, won't go. The good thing is if he puts the stroke on it, he gets the cue ball where he wants That's and avoids right. the kiss. That's right. Oh. Okay, well, it could have been better. could have been worse. Yeah. The, you know, the way it was struck, Alex is happy the shot's over with. And mm -hmm. the way the situation... Fetter's happy the shots over you know, with as well. And what I find interesting here, this is like watching a golfer that's like three over through 11 holes. Like, are they going to get cracked? I mean, because Alex has mis-executed for his standards, yet can he shake it off? See, he's looking down. He's going, what is happening here? Yeah. What am I doing? But if anybody can battle back and play perfect from here and steal the set, it's him. Look at this shot. Well, this here. is your safe shot, too. Yeah, I like this the speed. Is, yeah, this Took is, a free crack at you, but make it leave town. Well, told a long time ago, there's something about being able to hit the ball full in the face. That's right. <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, you're just going to control it more. That's do all, you, even if it's going three rails and then back up. Well, what do you like here, champ? Do you just like make to it. make it and go down to the corner? Yeah, yeah watch out for the four yeah, coming right. in. Right. I don't know. I like oh, the so two-railer. I like the two-railer. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, don't hit the cue ball. Well, uh, yeah, you got to shoot the two railer there with the count, and you're not going to get a ton of looks. Yeah, if he catches it right, he avoids the kiss easily. Mm -hmm. He caught That's it too right. thick, so the cue ball didn't get across quick enough. That's right. All right, he's just got to. I would feather the feather six it over myself to the right and put the cue ball down where Fedor's standing. Yeah, we got a guy with the light flashing right in Fedor's eyes in the front row. Doesn't realize his camera or his uh, flashlight's on. Me and him are wearing the same hoodie. Yeah, you are. He's looking at the two reller here. Ooh, oh, wow. This is really asking for trouble. Well, yeah. And it doesn't want to. It. Oh no, he he can he he can twist it one rail. That's what he's doing. Oh wow. Boy, no, I think he can actually. Don't clip Put the four. Yeah, he tried to gear affect it over. That was smart. And he needs it to get up. Yeah, though. if it doesn't bounce up, Alex could have almost done something with the four, but he has to, I think, address the six here. See, as fast and bouncy as this table's playing, I I almost think you might consider kicking behind the six into the side rail, or do you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to bank it and stop your cue ball, the six is going a million miles an hour. You talking about but, head on? Yeah, like hit, hit the six. Well, I'm. I might just roll it and oh, cover okay. up the rail. Oh, maybe. interesting. Maybe. Oh, he's coming I off think the he's left going for Yeah. It. I think he's going for the three reeler oh, like Fetter wow. did a moment ago. Oh, wow. Wow, what a call. And how do he hit it? I mean, really, Alex? Oh, what a good try. They both consider it that's their yeah. safer shot with taking a yeah. little chance of making it. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, take a high speed crack at making it. And it leads to a bank on the four if it goes. And you just want to cross this over to your side and run the cue ball to the top rail and back down. Mm -hmm. This is going to get like awkward it. for Alex, I think, if he, you know, depending on where they end up. But I think the two reeler is a mistake. That's okay. Yeah, just get him out. Yeah, get him out of there. A little congestion. Oh man, Alex is almost laying right to do the kick bank on the six if the cue ball could stay right there you'd be straight in on the four but you know you're gonna sell out more than you're gonna yeah. have this go right well this, you know what i mean I'm, i don't know is the two reel on the it, four an option uh, maybe otherwise yeah. he's gotta he's gotta be a little careful here yeah oh yeah you may send the four down just as a protection he's just rolling forward it looks like yeah boy you called that wow he's giving up a shot oh boy that he's was, overthinking himself I, a little I, bit I here so. uh you know, like how often are you going to play that shot right there, even if? Right. Like, what are you doing with it? Yeah. You know, if you hit it exactly how you wanted, you're not – you may be keeping them off a shot, right. but you're was, not making anything difficult. Right. It was you know? a lot of execution to get a little. Yeah. And it ended up, you know, hurting him. All right. Here I wouldn't try to bury the cue ball either. I would just stop. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I just stop right there and, and, and holding them on everything if I hold, if I stop. If I go forward, I uh, could give up a cross corner. Yeah. Um, and maybe some type of other shot. I like just stopping. And, and yeah. the reason why I like stopping is you can still control the speed on the six being this close to the six. Yeah, he's elevating now. Now, here's where I've gotten in trouble. I shoot this two railer and it goes down and lays on the back rail. And then Alex two rails the 15. No, he, well, 
Oh, well, he escaped a long way. Yeah, he there. escaped the other way. Okay. Well, I mean, he opened the cue ball up more than I thought mm -hmm. he had to, and good thing Alex isn't lefty. Yeah, no kidding. He's banking yeah, this he and would, drawing his that's ball. That's right. That's right. You kind of like a a medium speed ticky here with left English on the six. Go rail and ki like kick the six mm -hmm. up there with a middle left cue ball. Maybe, but this May is the type of table yeah. might slide uh, in. Okay. Or I'll tell you what, I, if you were ever going to shoot it behind the back bank, it might be here with this ball count. And, and draw the ball. Yeah. Because I don't know how many more looks you're going to get to steal this game. He's got to get him below the ball, though. Yeah. If he doesn't move the six. If he plays off of something else, he's got to get below the six, of course. He's kicking and sticking. Mm -hmm. He's still not fearing the 15 at all. Yeah, nice shot there, I think. I, I was... He had to do a lot there. Well, you see anything here? Because, okay. I mean, the six tricky. looks kind of, yeah, it's out in a bad spot. Yeah. Sure did get in a bad would spot. You, would you consider just cutting the six to the left where it kind of bounces off the left rail and ends up on the end rail and you roll the cue ball just towards the four? You I've don't done try that to, a lot of Right, time. you just do something simple. Don't get crazy. Because I hate to scratch here trying to do too much. Well, I when don't know looks, what he's doing. I mean, he's got to be I, banking it. This I is think, all I can figure. Well, when you need one, I think this is doing too much. I really do. I don't think this is – I don't think that was quite necessary, but – he may have roamed the, roamed the cue ball perfectly into a safe position here. Yeah. And the 15, I don't think, got bankable either. Well, if Alex banks his 15 in, which I don't think he can, let's say he does, Fedor will remember that and probably won't shoot at that bank next time he needs one. I thought that was a little aggressive there. I didn't like it just because the other balls were so open. Right. You know, if the fours froze on the back row with it mm -hmm. or something like that, and maybe the six is a little more difficult. But now... After this shot's over with here in a moment, oh, I can't yeah, believe he went for that. that's the best he could do, too. It was one yeah. of those weird banks where you know you can't make it, but you shoot it anyway. Yeah, but it's now like, he's letting Federer yeah. get a ball on his side. Yeah. yeah, You know, if he puts the 15 on his side and comes to the bottom rail, now everything Federer do, he's got to be on his toes okay. for the next two or three, four innings. Yeah, Because all sense. the balls are in play on Alex's side. Yeah, that makes sense. You totally. talk about promoting a mistake. That's uh -huh. when, when a mistake really comes from nowhere. He's going for this bank, oh so this goodness. is going to have a ton of speed. Yeah, you can scratch in both side pockets. You can scratch up in the corner. Like, this is, Where he's standing is where I Man, I, would I wouldn't shoot this. No, me Wouldn't either. you just get this out of there, kick it out, do something? Yeah, I don't shoot this usually. Yeah. But, but I'll tell you what. You know, you look oh. at the overhead, which we have the advantage. It looks a lot better. Right. The, the it, thing I would fear is a scratch off the six or just straight. That. that that worries me, and just straight in the corner worries me. Oh, oh I thought he made it. Well, he's well, lucky he, he caught the good. point just right. Didn't yeah, come up for it a did bank. come up for a bank, yeah. And he got the cue ball down here where the six looks no good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a lot of cut. I, I mean, I think you got to get the six down here somewhere. Put a high left cue ball. I don't think so. I think, no? I think kick and stick the 15. Oh, I'm really? Telling you. Oh, you wouldn't try to get the six maybe where the cue ball is and just get it in play? <laughs> Not me, anyways. No. I don't like where the cue ball is going okay. on that shot. Okay. I feel like you could give up a cross corner. I, see. I mean, you can't worry about everything, John. Well, John, but yeah. if you kick and stick on the 15, you're going to put it up by your side. I see. And things become. It, le it leads to good stuff. Yeah. If he is going to shoot this six, though, I don't like him to really even try to make it. Put it right. Well, yeah. You can, now he's going to give no up good. a free cross yeah. corner with no pressure on it at uh -huh. all. Uh huh. So, and if that six gets on the bottom rail, there's a two railer on the right. four. So. Hmm. Well, if he shot at the last, he yeah, certainly should yeah, shoot at this because yeah. twisting this thicker, you can hit the bottom rail with That's the six right. and combo the 15 in. That's right. And being able to hit it thicker secures the cue ball a lot better. Right. That's My big thing here is just you know, don't scratch. I mean, you hate scratching when you need one. Yeah, but hitting it thicker, you should be able to hit before the side. Like I know how you move. You could play one-handed when you need one to their three. <laughs> They're going to have a hard time beating you if you just poked mm -hmm. it around one handed because you're just not going to give up nothing. Not going to do a whole, whole yeah. lot. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what he's doing here. 
This is kissing, ain't it? Yep. Oh, he got by. Oh, that was nice shot. Yeah. Nice shot. Well, I think Alex has to bank the four, at least get it in play. Well, we're right? no, another one of those situations to where, you know, Look, you see that piece you can of chalk? get one ball here. Just try to bank it down to that piece of chalk by his pocket. I mean, if it goes in, great. Don't overcut it and leave a big old bank. He could get out. Yeah, yeah he could four three ball, the three rail to right. six, that's and right. drop behind the fifteen. Oh, but he, I, oh. I personally wouldn't have shot it. But that's just me. Uh huh. Yeah, you you only need well, you need uh, he needs three. I Alex, think needing three, maybe you'd lean towards shooting it, right? Yeah, but you maybe. can't get but one. Yeah. I want to get him yeah, in position where get, I can oh, get some I more. I see what if you're thinking. If I kick and stick on the 15 again, uh -huh. I get the ball up by the side, and now he's got to move off that 15 okay. without giving me a shot at the pink four or the six or, or the 15 itself. I got you. Yeah, build a position and then, yeah. and then get him all You know, if he's him. right up close to that ball, mm -hmm. that's different because yeah. accuracy is going to be real good. But he was but on he the wasn't. back rail. Uh, okay. well, Fetter's Alex, giving him some chances here. Alex has got one more chance to do a little something here. Good thing he can't reach that three reeler on the six. He'd be drawing his ball yeah. straight back. Yeah. Man, I'd have to I have to three rail this just somewhere near my pocket and, and get the cue ball over. to move over to the right a little bit. Yeah, like right there. And I know it's Fedor, but you gotta let him cut the four, and I don't think he would, you know, needing one. Yeah, Alex has got a chance to get the balls in play here. And he's fantastic with the rest, so he'll probably hit this decent. I would have a hard time getting a rail. Oh, he didn't get the oh. cue ball over. He's struggling. For some reason today, he's yeah. struggling you know, physically. Yeah. Well, there's a ton of heat out there. This match is gigantic. I mean, this is, um, you know, when you start talking single elimination, like, man. Well, when you get to that fifth, sixth yeah. spot or yeah. the final eight, you, you yeah. really feel like you're putting yourself in position oh, to win the tournament. Totally. Now, did you I, did you hear who won the straight pool? Not to cut you off. Uh, I, I thought to ask. it was Wal Walensky. Oh, okay. I thought so. The the young Polish Wichter. player. Yeah, w w Wichter, a great Zelensky. player. Yeah, Zelensky. Yeah, yeah, yeah Zelensky. Boy, yeah, well, he ran a lot of balls yeah. the day I was there. Oh, oh, oh Dimitri Jungo, Jungo won oh, it. All right, congrats. What a, what yeah, a year he's a great he's player. Having. Yeah, he's a great player. No, nothing wrong with him winning. From Switzerland. Now. Okay, I am not going to be that guy that goes, wow, I wouldn't have shot after they missed, but I wouldn't have shot that, Jeremy. He, he only needed one. Well, I can't believe he rolled it. I thought what? he would go ahead and shoot it and, I mean, and let the ball cut nicely. In well, the now, now, what, I mean. now, how crazy would it be Alex gets on the 15, cuts it in, draws three rails around behind the four. It would be like the greatest out, you know. He may end up he's gotta make a, or the combo. Oh, he's got to make a nice shot right here. His confidence right now, it might be your right. He's <laughs> – this is tough. It looks so easy on camera, but uh, this is very missable. And he's got to draw the ball. Right. Can't go in. That adds anything. a lot of difficulty. Oh, what a shot. Didn't really want – oh, you know what? Oh, it – I'll tell you what. How about four? How about four railing that four ball sticking right there and just four railing the four around? <laughs> Would yeah. you even uh, consider it? Absolutely. It's laying, it's laying it unbelievably Absolutely. good, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Now he's going to go three rails. Right. Watch him try to catch a side rail, in, in rail, rail, and right back behind this four. This kind of where he's at now oh, would be ideal. This would be unbelievable. What a shot. What a shot. Boy, that was a good hit. Okay. That took a lot of courage to put that much spin on that instead of just cinching it in. You know? Yeah, and with straight high, too. Right. It's not like side spin, no. which is more difficult no. when you're under pressure and you haven't right. really hit the ball that great. That's right. Boy, he steals this game. This will be a real momentum shift. Oh, oh God, he got it in up. behind it. He overcut it just a little bit. And I swear, it's, yeah. I hate to say it, but the backswing's letting him down today. Mm -hmm. it's, it, that's what's causing these miss hits, kind of mm -hmm. jumping that backswing even a little more, more quick than he's used to. You're and saying a little bit quick on the way back yeah. or on the way forward? No, more I think the, the way, way back is okay. the one that really sets it up. Uh -huh. That's what I've found. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's gut-wrenching for Alex to miss that. It was a tough shot, of course. I mean... Yeah. Yep, he, he uh, whiffed it going in and caught it coming out. 
looks like Fetter very happy. He had a couple oh, yeah. chances that he missed, but now in a driver's seat position with two breaks, two out of the next three breaks, if we go that far with it. Looks like Josh Roberts has won easily against Darren Appleton. 3-0. Yeah. He won a big match against Brandon Schuff, and now 3-0 over Darren. I think Skyler won as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming down to the assassins. Those, those are great one-pocket players. Yeah, I can't and, tell uh, who won in the corner there. And what is that? Uh, that was Schuff and uh, Josh Roberts earlier, I believe. Yeah, that. Uh, no, that match oh. got over quickly. Oh. Uh, I think that was Shohan winning that match. Oh yeah, against the um, um, Cashton. Cashton Keaton, Keaton, maybe. Yeah, that's a cool name, Cashton Keaton. Good little player, too. Nice young man. Good player. We'll see a lot more of him, I'm sure. Yeah, he's come a long ways in a short oh, period yeah. of time. Oh, yeah. Physically and mentally. Yeah. Oh, oh, brutal. Brutal. Good thing there's not another one that tickled out in front of this nine. He may be able to do some. Garcia, Roland Garcia, oh, that's I who see. he beat. Yeah. And I thought Roland yeah. would slow him down, but sometimes... Yeah, Tony's Joe not to be denied you know, when it comes uh, to the pace of the match. No, he's so tough with that one pocket. Oh, my goodness. And Alex knows this is treacherous right here. Yeah, when I'm an old man, if I can make it that far, I'll be talking about, you know, like, who was the greatest? And there, there's going to be, you're going to be in that group too, Jeremy, but there's going to be the Alex and the Tonys and the Boosties. There's six or eight of them that are just so damn good at that one pocket. It's unbelievable. Efren, of course, I've seen him play a ton. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, know, like, uh, just I'll tell you else who, who we didn't talk about much. And of course, you know, your old roper, Gabe Owen, man, that guy could play some one pocket. Well, I learned a lot watching him play. You know, I think some of those guys don't get enough credit. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I love Tony and I love what Tony does mm -hmm. and I love what Chip's doing. You yeah, know, Chip, tough, another you monster. Know? But I really, really firmly believe um, that I can name six or seven guys that Tony and Chip, I think Chip would have been an underdog, to be fair, and Tony would have had his hands full. Oh, wow. Uh, well, that, I'm that all being ears. Gabe Owen. Yeah, uh, Gabe. Shannon Dalton. Oh, Dalton. What um, a monster. Um, Cliff Joyner, of Cole. course. Alien. Um, a lot of people don't have the – didn't get the enjoyment of watching Alan Hopkins yeah. just squeeze you to death. Right, Alan uh, was awesome. Yeah, he played a tournament in – yeah, in Dallas, might lose two games in four days or something. Well, that's like, about what had happened. Right. Uh, <laughs> my yeah. friends were booking the matches, uh, putting up some lines, you know, just something to do, and and uh, they quickly learned that they were races to five, and like Perica well, was getting like uh, if he gets to four, he wins. Yeah. Or th three, it's a tie. That's how good Allen right. was playing. Right. Allen was sick. Yeah. Um, totally incredible. Player. But there's a uh, quite a few of those guys, mm -hmm. I think that. Oh, yeah, if you brought monster. them here yeah. in a time machine, yeah. they And they got to killers. play with all these oh. greats, so many great right. players, and, and so many one-pocket events. Oh. That's the other thing. Like, if there were that many one-pocket events, do you think we would have lost Shannon Dalton no. at times mm. or maybe an early career like yeah. that? Yeah, Of course, Scott Frost. Oh, what a, yeah, Scott, another uh, monster. Yeah. I've, I've, learned, I've learned some interesting shots from Scott. He taught me one in Mobile that I'm telling you, I've showed it to plenty of good players. They never, you've, there's no way you haven't seen it, but... Scott showed me a few really oddball one pocket shots that are cool as could be. I like the ones that come up. Yeah, you know, the yeah, ones well, that actually will yeah, come yeah, up. Yeah, that's you know, right. Like, yeah, which yeah. is I'm sure what Scott showed. Yeah, you, he you did. Know, he but, showed me some cool stuff. You know, you know Nick Varner, uh -huh. another great, great guy, great player. Sure. Um, yeah, I just feel like Gabe never quite got to play on camera as much, and uh, I've seen everybody play one pocket, and he was ex he was like your level he moved like you he even held the cue like you and then i just found out yesterday you guys were road partners so that makes sense i yeah. think he learned a ton from you but no uh, i met him when he was like 15 oh, or 16 okay. and then uh he took his first road trip with me him and uh -huh. a name you might not know bob piles from san antonio uh, that sounds familiar really good player yeah. from san antonio but. and then of course out you know like i say when i'm older i'm gonna quickly bring up all the names you mentioned and then in my era, this guy right here, I mean, every tournament that I ever played in, he was there. So, um, yeah, just what a killer field. I like the way Alex plays, though, because to me it's a blend of, like, you, but he throws in some Chohan offense, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. But he plays the game right or, or, I don't know, maybe just careful enough 
because Stake and Tony, I would have white hair. I mean, he just he shoots his shots. I just can't believe and hits them perfect, of course. Well, but I mean, it works. He wins all kinds of uh, one pocket events and money games. So, what's so impressive about oh, Alex? Yeah, great shot here. Perfect speed on the cue ball, just in case. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was going for that one. The one thing I like about Alex is, and I talked about this in the last event, I think, uh, that, you know, he wasn't brought up playing one pocket. Right. You know, There's so he has to kind of he yeah. has to kind of retune himself into the game, mm -hmm. and, and, he, and he wants to do that. You know, like he's so on top of what's going on oh, in his totally. mind and stuff. Oh, that totally. It's just a, kind of an incredible story really oh if yeah you, if you look the way he does things nice shot. real first there wow. oh, nice oh shot. no oh, that oh is a no. terrible roll he had a chance to get a bunch right there yeah and really only has one ball kind of on his side so mm -hmm. he's gonna have to duck here and he's gonna have to protect that four ball doing it now see like this is a perfect example where i think chohan would kick the, the 10 it. towards his hole and hope the cue ball creeps up against the 515. That's the right shot. It, it kind of is, isn't it? It's the right well, shot because your accuracy can be so good it, yeah. because you're right there facing it, right? I mean, yeah, I think it is the right know, shot. I think it is the right shot, okay. 100%. I'm not as now, crazy maybe as not way, the way he wants to try and win and uh -huh. slow this match down. Uh -huh. Okay, now that's the difference. Yeah, but he for sure knows the shot and would consider it. That's why many consider this the best game. Yeah, um, because you you know you it's can, not paint by numbers. I, yeah, uh, let me set it. the shooter aside for a moment and be the coach for just a minute. Yeah, and I'll get I'll bring that shooter back in here. Yeah, after we make a good sound decision. Yeah, now nah, this is such a great game. There's I would have wanted to protect the four though. I don't. I guess he maybe he can't get at the four. Maybe the eight's. Yeah, I covered. think he covered it up just okay. right. So he's gonna follow through mm -hmm. on the twelve. Try to get over there behind that four and cover the ten. Well, what he'd like to do is really cut him off on everything but the four. Oh, that way he can he has to shoot the four it, yeah. away a little right, himself. Right. That's, so that's why you go over and say, hey, man, this big eclipse on the four can do a lot right here for me. Mm -hmm. That's why you just don't take these for granted. Right. Now, he had to replace it. It uh, had to go into those balls. So. Tell you what, if he didn't cover the 10 and left the bank. He must no, have covered the 10. He did, 10. or he'd be, yeah. He'd be not too he'd happy. pretty dejected. <laughs> Now Alex is. I think I don't think he really has much. I I you know. Yeah, well, I always believe in it. I just believe he'll come back, and make it hill hill somehow. No, he always yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. He always does. He makes you believe that. Yeah, well, yeah. He makes a believer out no, of me, out of you. Absolutely. You know, they always ask you who you think the best mover is. And well, most of us, I can't say all of us, but most of us would hardly ever announce ourselves when we're well, asked that, that. Yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> now go there might well, have I mean, be a few guys here yeah. and there that say, "Well, well, me, of course." No, but, I. Yeah. But uh, but whenever I'm asked that question, yeah. he left the two roller on the twelve here. By the way, big mistake. Yes, and get the cue big ball mistake. to get up table, middle of the end rail. Yes, yeah, yes. Two, twice uh, with high inside, high left. Well, I'm going to say it, and I'll say this without any shame at all. I think you're the best mover. You and Gabe, I mean, you got to understand, I've sat over there and watched you play 100 hours of one pocket cliff. I mean, I could go on and on. I, I'm not talking like I watch one race to three. I yeah. watched them all play. If the balls are up table and you both need like two and my life was on the line, I'm bringing you in, Gabe Owen, Alex, guys, like because I, I don't think there is a best mover. I think there's a group of you. There's yeah. a four or five of you killers who all move perfect. Uh, and Alex is in that group. Um, but Gabe is the name oh, I always say. That I, oh, he who, was who awesome. do I think moves the best? Oh, you know, man, and he of plays. course, you know, yes, that's the guy. That I'll tell I, you this. I usually announce in that the regard. The thing about so. Gabe is, I think he was the funniest. He was the. I mean, he had us all laughing hysterically so often at tournaments, um, and we can't really even talk about some of the stuff that he would do. But he. He knew how to get a laugh. He was funny. Great shot by oh, Fetter, yeah. by the way, keeping it simple and yes. really applying a lot more heat than it appears. If oh, he, oh yeah. my goodness. Man, well, the, but that's because on. he made him have to thin that's the right. ball. He made but, him have to t do something a little dicey. That's a great point. See, people will just remember Alex making a boob. Well, Fedor forced him into that position. That's yeah. hats off to Fedor. You know? And he did it simply. Fetter. He did it simply. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to take no any risk. 
So but, does, a, does a 13 go by the 15? Like if he shoots the 4 oh, off and then the 10, it's tight. You know, I think it. I think it's blocked by that 15. Yeah, I think you're I mean. probably right. Now let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. If you stop your ball, mm -hmm. okay, if you stop your ball on the 4, would you take the angle on the 10 to sweep two rails towards the pile? Oh. Oh, absolutely! Because yeah. there's if, nothing if it's, really. If I mean, it's a, yes, if it's a thing, and the cue ball might even carry into the seven clip. The that's 13. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I like one, that. One, three, the two, the six, the eleven. All kinds of things can get opened up here, sweeping two rails off the ten from about uh, where the four is at. The, the only other thing I see that I would even consider, especially if the pockets were easier, the six not, two. Yeah, well, I would. I would maybe shoot the four and go into the six with a little paste, you know, and just brush them down and open and try. Yeah. But I kind of like what you're talking about. Stop your ball, uh, shoot the ten, go two rails, or play the six-two combination even. Right. Um, well, see, this looks a little thin to get two rails into him to me. I don't think he can do it. Oh, he can do it. Can he? Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the thing is, you don't have to rock it into him. Right. You know what I mean? Just you got to Just a him. medium, nice medium aggression uh -huh. off the 10. So it's not like go 100 miles an hour and lose full control. Yeah, that those are both the, the two best plays that I see here, this combination or like you're talking about with the 10. The, the, the two rail off the 10 is not something you're going to do very often. No. But it's what, the right shot. But the seven actually makes it a little more doable than mm -hmm. you think it does. Mm -hmm. It gives you a little catcher's mitt for that cue ball to hit yeah. the seven and maybe brush the eight, 13. Exactly. Yeah, all kind of good stuff. And, to do. and your opponent has nothing on his side for you to worry about. You know what I mean? Right. Like, oh, I might get trapped. I might, right. Something bad might happen. Even if it's a, a ball lingering towards his hole, there's nothing close to Alex's pocket. I think this it, could get him in more trouble than, the, than sweeping off the 10. Just it's just it's funny that maybe I'm seeing this wrong, but the 10 looks too thin to do that, or no? You think you can come two oh, rolls off yeah. the 10? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then I like that shot. 100%. Look this, how high the 10 is up. It's up a diamond. It's up enough. Over yeah. a diamond. I mean, you can yeah, definitely get the pull on the ball. Maybe right? laying perfect, actually. Yeah, pretty decent, I think. Mm hmm. I'm this, not against what he's doing here. The 6 2, I mean, you know, no, pocket. But he's weight. not escaping the cue ball, is he? No, I think the cue ball will just kind of lay right. Oh, nice oh, shot. Slid in. Nice shot. Well, and you know, that's his high pool IQ. He knew pocket speed. I got a chance for that pocket to gobble up this two. And he was only giving mm -hmm. up the seven. That's right. And he wasn't really giving yeah, up a ton. He wasn't giving up much. He still has the other option uh, after shooting the six if he wanted to try and open some balls. But he'll probably try and get on the 11 using the 10. Come a couple rails, maybe yeah. even four rails behind him. We'll see. Yeah, you want to draw it and get nice. not quite so thin. Uh huh. Now, do you go four rails around and get on that 11? That's what I was saying. Yeah, it's yeah. a little preference yeah, here. I like it. A little yeah. preference. Mm -hmm. The thing about the four railer is you're always coming at the ball. You know, if you if you come two rails trying to lengthen it out, you could get a little testy long on the 11 right. if you overhit. <laughs> I think they both lay very doable. It's just a matter of which way you want to do it. I kind of personally like the four rail myself. Yeah. With a straight it, high it, ball. It looks like it's laying just right. Hit right before the side. Yeah, it's perfect, actually. Perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. He's going to get the angle to move from the 11. Maybe to the 1. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's good. He's got choices mm -hmm. here. He's got choices, and he's got a big lead, folks. Yep, and he's up 2 nothing. That's all you can want. You know, and Alex has done this to many others, and so it's all part of the game. When you compete at the highest level, you're going to have days that just don't go right, and you get beat. There's no way around it. Well, Alex He hasn't is, beat yet, but it's not looking good. No, it's going to be hard for him to get out uh, without maybe playing a seven-ball bank last, something like that. But right. the one thing about Alex that I know is he, he wants to know why – some struggles right. happened. Right. You know, because he didn't get to play one pocket enough here. He had some miss hits that didn't allow him to really right. get into the game That's that right. much. Yep, and that'll bother him and he'll go back exactly. to he'll go back to the laboratory and work on it and uh think about it and that's why he's just such a talented player. He's not just gonna go crack a beard, move on. He wants to figure out why did I miss that spot shot or you know, yeah. can I improve on anything? Yeah, because it wasn't. Wow, what a shot! It wasn't one ball. You know, it wasn't right. one of those miss hits. It was four or five strikes exactly. that he wasn't in love with. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. One you can leave behind. Mm -hmm. Two you can kind of wonder, and then yep. beyond that, it's like, oh, I gotta, 
a, a little something to tweak. Now he can run the ball. I, I think he needs two. Yeah, he can run the ball a little bit. I probably make the the three a little more simple. Yeah, make it and then uh, bank the bank one the if you seven. Have, if you, yeah, yeah, bank you, the you're seven. You're going to run a little bit yeah. off the five, I think. Yeah. And like here, I don't want to scratch, and I want to make the three. I don't exactly. try to overplay my I don't want to put hand. inside on That's it, right. trying to whip the ball around. That's right. Yeah, don't overplay your hand here, because get it get it to where you need one ball, and uh, Federer will be impossible to beat. Nice shot. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna shoot at this one, the one ball. I don't see why not. Make sure nothing's yeah. absolutely dead in the stack or shootable from the end rail, and mm -hmm. pretty hard not to shoot at the one. Just because you lay so nice on it. Yeah, and the balls aren't laying great for out. It's not they're in play, but they're not really in play. Yeah, no, this would be interesting to see to me how he shoots this ball. The way he laid his cue down makes me think he wants to kind of zip it in oh, a little man, bit. Man, I'd be scared for it to me hit the too. orange and wreck them well, all he's open. He's shooting and, the orange, it looks like. Oh, now that I like better than the one. Okay. Oh. You oh, gotta hit this with one, a high Jay. ball. Oh, yeah, this, the one's better. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think the I would hit better. this with a smooth pocket speed, and if you don't make it, great. But don't rip it into the balls or anything. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're up two nothing and seven balls to one. I think uh, you're gonna be all right. But I have seen match man. I've seen so many matches from this exact position get lost. I think over he's gonna years. shoot. I think Alex is a little wow. bit a little bit telling himself. Wow, really? Okay, you've given up a few shots. Okay. He wants to get one. He wants to bury <laughs> one to try and get back yeah. in this. You know, oh, it's a little man. bit of a He's looking a at a little it. bit of a, a a contest within himself. Yes, exactly. You know, so. And at the pro level we go through these little mini internal battles. Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, caddy can't take the club out of the hand. Yeah, right. All the time. Yeah, no. See, I want to lay up here. I'm thinking, <laughs> let me get the one out, but no, shoot the seven. Just dare yourself. Oh, I think he's gonna. Well, he's looking at that thirteen eight. That's why I was looking at said before. Make sure nothing's dead and real shootable from the end rail if you're fetter. Now well, the problem with this is, well, maybe not too tell much. Tell you problem. what, the fifteen's gonna open a little bit. If Alex wins this tournament, remember this little sequence right here because uh, <laughs> this would be unbelievable if he made this seven, stole this game, and won this set. Truly unbelievable. Now, I wonder if he's trying to look at dropping on the bottom rail off this combination. I was thinking. Oh, okay. Drawing to the and, side rail, you know, and dropping to the bottom. Not for safe, but oh, just for oh, shape. Oh, okay. Yeah, bank the, not, yeah, bank bank the, the one. one uh, oh, just man. for shape because now I don't think he really has to do that. Oh, that's what he's doing. But because the, the 15 is going to get wiggled open I think here. he's trying to jiggle the one out, Jeremy, but the scratch nah, is on. he can't do that. He's going the rail. You're right. You called it exactly. Yeah, great call. Man, you've played some one pocket. <laughs> well, I was looking right <laughs> yeah. down the line. Yeah, of great him, call. You know, yep. I was looking right down the line of him. And I'll tell you what. I like what he shot there. If that goes in, yeah, he's got now Fetter's got a cut here to win the match. Yeah, we're going to lose AP, yep. Alex Pegalon. Yep, great match, Fetter. A total gentleman as usual, whether he wins or loses. Same with Alex. That's right. That was a great match. I had a lot of fun doing that with you, Jeremy. Same here. And another one coming in a short period of time, an yeah. hour-ish or so. Yeah. Stay tuned. Should be a semifinal at that point. Wow, big one. Yeah, final four coming. All, All right, right, see you guys in a few. That's right. For John Schmidt, the International, I'm Jeremy Jones. See you soon.